friends, family, honored guests, and of course, the class of 2020, welcome. On behalf of everyone at Columbia Basin College, I am Rebecca Woods, president of CBC, and I am delighted to welcome you to our virtual commencement celebration. We will begin our celebration with the national anthem sung by our own Emily Crawdell. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air came proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave Thank you, Emily. That was beautiful. Class of 2020, I know this is no substitute for our traditional commencement ceremony, but I hope the pride that we have in each of you and the joy we feel for each of you can come through in this virtual format. We are so excited for the achievements of the more than 1,000 graduates who we are celebrating today. We are so proud of you. We're grateful for each and every one of you, for who you are, what you have overcome to get to this day, and who you have become as individuals, as learners, and as our next generation of leaders. During last year's commencement, I shared one of my favorite quotes from J.R.R. Tolkien, who's an English writer, poet, and academic. Tolkien is known by many of you as the author of the classic literary masterpieces, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings series. When I thought about this year's graduating class and all of the circumstances that you have had to overcome to get to this day, this quote seemed more relevant this year than ever. If you've seen The Lord of the Rings, the trilogy in the Fellowship of the Ring, you may recall the scene in the depths of the mountain as Frodo grieves over the unexpected burden that he faces and he's considering in essence what to do. Frodo says, I wish it need not have happened in my time, to which Gandalf replies, so do I, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. If you had the choice, you would not have chosen to finish your education during a pandemic. You would not have chosen to figure out how to get to the finish line despite being laid off or having your hours reduced at work. You would not have chosen to lose a friend, a parent, a sibling, or a loved one during school. You would not have chosen to suddenly start homeschooling your children and try to teach them fractions or what an isosceles triangle is. Of course, after you Google that yourself, because you didn't know either, you would not have chosen any of the challenges that you found before you. But what you did was decide what to do with the times that were given to you. I know some of you chose to stand in a second harvest distribution line to get food for your families. I know you chose to stay on hold with the Unemployment Commission trying to track down that first unemployment check. 
I know you chose to sit with your father, holding his hand while he cried at the unexpected loss of his wife, your mother. You chose to drive to campus and sit in the parking lot so you could access high-speed internet and complete your class and your homework from your car. And you chose to get up early and put on a school schedule together for your children in your newly acquired role as their teacher before starting your own studies for the day. You did not choose the circumstances before you, but you did decide how to respond to those circumstances. You decided that no matter what obstacles were thrown in front of you, you were not going to let it defeat you. You decided to take back control and to find a way over, under, or through those obstacles. It may not have been pretty, not what you would have planned, but you did it. You accomplished your goal. You accomplished your dream. Finishing college at any time is a huge milestone, an amazing accomplishment. But what you have accomplished in 2020 during this time is remarkable. We could not be more proud of you. Class of 2020, you will always have a special place in our hearts. We will never forget you. Congratulations. And it is now my pleasure to introduce CBC's Board of Trustees Chairman, Duke Mitchell. Chairman Mitchell is completing his 10th year of service on our board. We've been very fortunate to have his leadership at our institution and want to express our gratitude to him for his service. Thank you, Duke. Now, Chairman Mitchell would like to share a congratulatory message with our graduates. Good afternoon. I have two main points today. First, I congratulate each of you on your 2020 Columbia Basin College graduation. I congratulate you on your degree, diploma, or certificate, or other important achievements. Well done. Congratulations. Second, I strongly encourage each of you to always dream big. Always make big plans for yourself and your future. And you make it happen with help, guidance, and assistance from many others along the way, of course, or not. You have already accomplished great things. Continue doing your best and giving your best in all you do. Congratulations, Columbia Basin College, class of 2020. You should be very proud of what you have accomplished during your time at CBC. Go Hawks! Thank you, Chairman Mitchell. It is now my pleasure to be able to introduce our applied bachelor's degree student speaker, Cassie Burton. I am honored to introduce our 2020 bachelor program student speaker, Cassie Burton. Cassie graduates today with her associate's degree in business management and certificates in both project management and accounting, and is now pursuing her bachelor's in project management at CBC. This remarkable individual was selected as your commencement speaker, not only because she is an outstanding scholar, active campus leader, and untiring community volunteer, but she is also a wife, a mother of six, and an owner of three businesses. Cassie was recently chosen as one of 20 students nationwide to join the 2020 All-USA Academic Team and is the New Century Transfer Pathway Scholar for Washington State. I hope that we can all learn from Cassie and see her as a shining example of what it truly means to lead a life of purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Cassie Burton. My name is Cassie Burton. I am the recording officer for Phi Theta Kappa's National Honor Society here on campus. When I enrolled at CBC, I was thinking that I would take one photography class, I would learn how to use my camera, and walk away a quarter later feeling a little more self-fulfilled. I never thought of myself as a leader. I never imagined that I would earn a degree, and I certainly didn't know that attending CBC would spark a tremendous passion within me to achieve greatness. And that passion would later earn me state and national recognition. 
The past few months have been trying and emotional for all of us. In these times, we must gather our strength and cultivate love, for these are the ties that bring us together. In our new reality, there are many barriers to reaching success that didn't exist a few short months ago. The world has challenged us with a set of extraordinary circumstances, and we have risen to that challenge. Our determination to succeed, paired with the unyielding support from staff and faculty at CBC, we made it. Our graduation may not be what we had envisioned or what generations before us have experienced. We are here celebrating together because we at CBC are resilient and strong. For many of us, this is the end of our college story and the beginning of our next great adventure. As the next generation, I cannot wait to see how you will change the world. Whatever you do, wherever you go, remember, we are hawks and we were meant to soar. Thank you, Cassie. I now have the pleasure of introducing the 2020 graduating class of Columbia Basin College Bachelor of Science and Applied Bachelor's Degrees.
I am now pleased to introduce our associate degree student speaker, Carrie Mendoza. There are a few times in my life where I have been humbled in the presence of greatness. Today is one of them. Carrie Mendoza, who is graduating with a degree in the Associates of Applied Science and Radiologic Technology, was chosen because she is a natural leader who symbolizes the very best that humanity has to offer. A leader whose qualities of compassion, morality, and commitment have enabled her to be a positive influence on her family, her classmates, and her community. She is a person whose humility illustrates the principle that even the least amongst us are deserving of the dignity, respect, and humanity, and the offer of a helping hand. I am fortunate in that I have had the honor, and dare I say the privilege, of knowing such a person. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, and especially the graduates of Columbia Basin College's class of 2020, I present to you Mrs. Perry Mendoza. An anonymous author once said, your level of success is determined by your level of discipline and perseverance. Here we are June 19th and this day looks nothing like we envisioned. The many challenges and victories we've experienced during our time at Columbia Basin College has helped equip us into individuals more prepared to enter the workforce or university we've worked so hard for. We all have our own stories and experiences that make our time at CBC special. For me, it had been 20 years since I had been in a classroom. Just like I walked my daughters to their first day of school, they walked me to my first college classroom. Walking with them by my side was a way to show them, no matter where you are in life, it's never too late to become a better version of yourself. Instead of telling them how important a college education is, I wanted to set the example by obtaining an education for myself in radiologic technology and give back to the community we live in. I had no idea I was about to begin the most challenging yet rewarding experiences of my life. I want to thank my husband, Donnie, and our daughters, Allie and Haley, for believing in me long before I believed in myself. To my director, Jay King, and my 12 classmates who have become like family, thank you for challenging and encouraging me during our two years together. The person I was when I started college is definitely not the person I am today, and I have CBC and my family and friends to thank for the growth I have achieved. Let us take the discipline and perseverance we have gained with us as we enter the next chapter of our lives. I now have the pleasure of introducing the 2020 graduating class of Columbia Basin College associate degrees and certificates.
I now have the pleasure of introducing the 2020 graduating class of Columbia Basin College High School Completion and GEDs.
We are so proud of all of you. Please take a moment to hear congratulatory messages from your CBC family and friends. Congratulations, graduates. Just because you can't celebrate like this doesn't mean you haven't accomplished something amazing. Congratulations, graduates of CDC's class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, seniors. You did it. No doubt you all deserve a gold crown. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of your determination and resilience and finishing your program strong. We all know it's not easy to get a college degree or certificate. We are so happy you're graduating and wish you the best future. It took a lot of dedication to get where you are right now. Be incredibly proud of yourselves. You earned it and that's exactly what we wanted. Your hard work and persistence has paid off. Your perseverance through these difficult times shows that you will come out stronger on the other end. Everything you do will lead to making our community a better place. You finished your degree despite facing challenges that no students have ever encountered before. It was tough, but so are you. Congratulations, CBC class of 2020. Your future has bright things in store. We couldn't be happier for all of you. We are proud of you. Now go and enjoy the ride. Today is your day to celebrate. I look forward to seeing the incredible things you accomplish. Keep creating, keep building, keep challenging the status quo, and I can't wait to see how your artistic vision shapes the future. Make a difference love one another, and make us proud. Well done to you. Keep charging. Keep working out every day so that you stay at the top of your game physically. Make sure you're reading something challenging every day. And just keep your spirits high because this country is going to bounce back and we're going to need every one of you again out there using that diploma and making a difference. Congratulations and all the best to you. You did a hard thing. You stuck with it. Go out there and do great things. You have what it takes to change the world. Congratulations, graduates. Go Hawks. Congratulations, graduates. Go Hawks. 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 Go Hawks! So from these past Hawks and these future Hawks, Go Hawks! Congratulations, class of 2020. We could not be more proud of you. Thank you to everyone for joining us and celebrating with us. This concludes our 2020 virtual celebration. Thank you. Thank you.